Let's go over to Newport, Michigan with Katie D. Wow, we're and going all over the all Yeah, over the yeah, we are all over I think somebody the did a north, south, east, west tonight. Yeah, yep, exactly. Well, we we've kind of focused on southeast Michigan in the last few, which is where you're located, right. but you know, you serve the We handle area, the, yeah, so. we do a lot in on the west side of Michigan. Okay. Uh, so and, and uh, northeast Ohio. Okay. And Cincinnati. And Cincinnati. All right. All, right. all over the place. Yes. Yeah. So this is this is the only probate question, non-probate question of tonight. Okay. And it it's it's very brief. Her question uh -huh. is very brief, uh -huh. but there's like a million different answers for it. So Katie D wants to know what are the benefits of using an attorney if I don't want to use a real estate agent to sell my home? It seems very open ended. Yeah, that's a loaded question, but yeah. um uh, gosh, I've answered this question a million times. Um, first of all, a realtor is a sales commissioned individual driven by commission. Yeah. So if you're not using a realtor and uh, then you're just trying, number one, to save on commission, that might be one thing. Um, but the difference between using a realtor and, a turn and an attorney is an attorney is not a real estate attorney is not a sales commission uh party they're not opening the door to the home or showing the home mm -hmm. uh, our job is to make sure that all the legal documentation associated with a real estate transaction uh is in compliance and that starts from the you know the listing of a property if you were to hire a real estate agent to a purchase agreement and all the seller disclosures and we handle the transaction when it comes to title work um, uh, we review the title that's issued by the title company or a title agent. I mm -hmm. just had that question the other day. That's a good one too. Um, which asked this kind of the same question, which was, why do we use it? Why do I need to have a title insurance agent uh, do title? Same kind of thing. Can I have an yes. attorney? Do it? Yep. Attorneys are, are there. Uh, real estate attorneys handle transactions. I've handled close to $4 billion worth of real estate transactions in my career. I kind of stopped keeping count after 2012, 2013. That's why I say close to 4 billion. Uh -huh. um, but, uh, you know, the real estate agent, there's a, a definitely a need here. The real estate agent and the attorney actually have something very much in common. Um, we both handle the transaction, but more importantly, for, you know, from different, uh, from different perspectives, but the most important thing is, is we are third-party buffers between parties. Yes. So, you know, if you want to do a home, uh, sell a home on your own, you have to be prepared to deal with some of the stress that comes with selling a home mm -hmm. and dealing with uh, rejection and also kind of pushing people um, that you probably not are not normally used to pushing. Uh, so that's what a real estate agent does, and that's what an attorney does. We can you know, we're the buffer, we're the, we can be the bad guy, we can be the sounding board, and we can convey the information to the, uh, let's say, the other parties without hopefully offending them. That's, sure. that's kind of what both parties do. A real estate agent um, usually is like herding cats when they're trying to get a deal to close. There are so many variables, as you know, Blair, in, mm -hmm. and you've learned, into closing a real estate transaction. Yeah. But real estate agents are really marketers and salespeople and, and, and attorneys are not there to market your home. Yeah. You know, our job is to work through purchase agreements. I, you know, today's Monday, yesterday, I had a client who uh, was buying a significant home. They had over, now this the market's terrible, but they had uh, allegedly terrible. They had over uh, 15 offers on their home and I spent two and a half hours with them going even though they had real estate agents mm -hmm. going through all the pros and cons of the they, they we selected three that they liked and we went through which is the best transaction to work with now from a real estate commission side you know a realtor doesn't care they just look at the sales price right but from a legal perspective and also from just practical experience as a, a real estate investor myself i'm looking at you know well who, who's giving the loan? What are the contingencies mm -hmm. in this purchase agreement that could really trip you up? So, you know, agents do that, but their their main job is to just close a deal, okay? Right. 
from exactly. a sales perspective. And that's that's what I would take away from it is the real estate agent is not legal or financial counsel, uh, regardless right. of how experienced or intelligent the agent might might be, or how successful right. or how focused they are on their client's best interest. Um, that's just not, that's that just not their right, right. Right. They have they have the experience and they would have the knowledge, but it's not it's not their lane. It's like going right. to someone else you know you want you want um advice on a specific you know a specific uh you know whatever it is that you're whatever it is that you're looking for right whatever sector you know it is and you're going to someone outside of that sector so that's right. that that would be my takeaway is um you know just recognize that there is a lot of marketing and sales and late night uh, phone calls and email responses that you if you are doing a for sale by owner you are now taking that on. Um, having used real estate agents in the past, I know that my real estate agent would answer uh, emails at midnight on Monday, you know, on, on a weeknight, you know, answer emails. She was constantly. And, and constantly. Attorneys, attorneys, most of them won't do it. Sure. You know? yep. I mean, and, and why, you know, you know we, we're also looking to be less expensive in the transaction mm -hmm. because you're not paying uh, yep. the real estate commission. But I will tell you that I work on many transactions between. I work with realtors on both sides and I'm still yeah. involved because I'm doing the blessing of the documents from a legal perspective. So Right. Yep. It's so really it's, what it's you all, prefer. Yeah, it's all it's all preference. That's what I was going right. to say. It's all preference. You know, my my recommendation would be use use both services, use both the real estate attorney to do all of your legalities and all of your right. financial console and things like that. But then as far as marketing and sales and communications and public relations, you know, if, if that's not your cup of tea, then get a real, get a real estate agent to do all of that. But right. Exactly. But yeah. I, but I, yep. I always sound like I'm beating up on realtors, good realtors and good real estate agents are really, you know, phenomenal people. They, you need yep. them. You know, absolutely. Absolutely. So, and now that I do, now that I do my own real estate transactions yeah. as an investor, I used to teach elementary school, as you know, and right. getting the other party to turn in their documents is kind of like getting my students to turn in their homework. Isn't sometimes. That crazy? You know, right. and like you said, herding cats and that really <laughs> triggered like back to teaching. It's like, you know, dealing with these adult buyers and sellers is a lot like dealing with the, yeah. you know, the child student. There's, you know, there's just a lot that goes into it. And so, right. yep. On this last, on this last sale that we had, we actually used a realtor and I was glad because he took care of a lot of the headache that we had during coronavirus. And I was very thankful for him. Yeah. Very happy to give him, you know, How's he feeling right now? he's fine. He's doing okay. good. Business good. is good. <laughs> Business is good. good. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. Well, Katie, I hope that answered your question. Um, um, you know, it's pretty open-ended, but I think we hit it there. 